Project Invent is about taking problems we see in our community and find solutions that we think will help a lot of other people and not just our community, but globally around the world. Project Invent is about the ways you can really change people's lives through inventing and through creation and innovation. Our community partner is Robert Rodriguez. When he was younger, he had an illness that caused him to have his right leg amputated. He is quite a successful businessman. He has his own company and he's also in the Paralympics. You guys are passionate. You're here to do something positive. So let that fire inside you burn brighter than the fire that's around you. The first time I met the students, it was amazing to hear the questions that they had, just to see that they're being innovators and creating something um, for someone like me. One of the specific problems that Robert mentioned is that because he's very sports oriented, he sweats a lot. When he sweats, his leg suddenly fell off and it has fell off multiple times. So we're working on a way to make a modification for a prosthetic leg that helps him keep it tight and not fall off. Working with the community partner has been a great experience because it really pushes the boundaries. This is a real problem. It's not just something that I made up for them to work on, so the motivation is definitely higher. Working with the community partner has given us a broader perspective of what's going on outside of our current lives, more of a sense of let's think about others. At the beginning, it was like a monsoon of ideas. And what we try to do is put them all together. His foot is 27 centimeters from the bottom of the heel there to the top right here at the big toe. When initially brainstorming our first design, we had a whole list of materials that we would use. When it came down to actually putting it together, we realized that those materials were not compatible with the design that we had initially thought of. We tried altering designs multiple times to try and fit those materials, but it wasn't working, and then we ultimately had to scrap the idea entirely. It's definitely discouraging to see that you have to throw away all of the work that you've been going over for the last few months. But not only thinking about Robert specifically, but thinking about how people around the world with prosthetics could be impacted and actually helped, that kept us inspired to keep going. It was hard, but there was always this idea of determination. And I think in my group, we tried to share it with each other. There was a mentality shift that happened to the students where they didn't see a shift in the invention design as failure, but as evolution, as progress. And so seeing them build that confidence as a teacher, right? That's what you hope for and dream for. Our new design is a prosthetic sleeve that wraps around the thigh and connects to their prosthetic leg. The purpose of that is to actually absorb the sweat, keeping their leg and prosthetic leg dry so that it helps keep the prosthetic on his leg. Teamwork was quite important. I mean, it's the backbone of this whole entire project. Being able to shift and create something new that we hadn't intended in the beginning and had a boost in confidence quite a lot. If you collaborate, if you try to impact your community, you will inspire other people to contribute with society. And that's what makes the world better. The only sustainable mission is to improve lives. Big kudos to Project Invent, who's creating a path for togetherness. Project Invent really shows you that anything really is possible. With a little elbow grease and a lot of determination, you can accomplish anything.